Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to the episode of the Venom Vlog, and we are here to talk about the new Spider-Man game from Insomniac, Spider-Man 2, which will be dropping October 20th in just a matter of like two weeks, I think, from now. So I wanted to make this real quick, just a quick video, because obviously I haven't been covering this game, and I know people have been asking me, a couple people have asked me, you know, like, why aren't you getting me deep into this? I know you did a couple trailer reactions, but, you know, there's more TV spots, there's all these things coming out, and to be honest with you, I just don't want to be spoiled, <laughs> you know, uh, and I also am like 50-50 on the whole, you know, who is Venom thing. Uh, obviously on Twitter, that's a big topic of discussion of people saying like, you know, is it going to be Harry? Will Eddie make a last minute appearance? Is Venom going to be Peter Parker? You know, whatever the case is, everyone has their speculations and, and curiosities and, and hopes, you know, that it's just done really, really well. And I got to say, as I've said on Deeper Depths podcast, when I was on his show, I said, you know... I think for me, at least, Insomniac earned enough goodwill with that first game and the Miles game that I think I'm willing to let them try to convince me that Harry Osborn, Venom, if that's the case, if that's the route they're going, because that's what they set up in the first two games, um, you know, if that's the route they're going, I feel like they got enough goodwill for me to at least check it out. Uh, but I will say, as of right now, I'm more excited for Craven in the game than I am for Venom. Uh, this looks like a very, you know, accurate interpretation of Craven, and after seeing that live action movie trailer, I'm kind of looking for a, a good live, you know, a good interpretation of Craven, I guess, outside of comic books. So this video game looks like it will probably deliver on that front at least. And, you know, bringing in the lizard and all that, that reminds me of the screenplay me and my friend Ben and, and, other, and James and stuff wrote way back when, where we wrote, you know, we talked about that on the show where we at one point were working at Sony and we were trying to get a Spider-Man 4 script in at some point, um, I think before the first writer strike, uh, or the previous writer strike from like 2007, eight era. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we were trying to, you know, pitch an idea at that point. And we had one with Craven and Lizard as the two main villains. So seeing it in this game was just really cool. And then adding Venom into there, even if it's like a different take on Venom. And then also having the Arachnite Moon Knight costumes for Spider-Man, I think is really cool, at least for me as a fan. And of course, there's a ton of new costumes, depending on what version you pre-order or get, uh, you know, which version you buy. There's the 19 inches of Venom thing, you know, which obviously Venom himself isn't 19 inches in that statue, but the statue overall is 19 inches. But just very funny, uh, you know, all the memes and things that are in people's excitement in general being out there for this game. And obviously I'm excited for the game, but I'm trying not to, you know, overload myself. You know, when I see posts on online, on Twitter and stuff and Instagram, I just try to, you know, sometimes I might mute people if they do it too much. Um, and that's just until the game comes out. Then afterwards, after I play the game, you know, I'll unmute people and, and uh, have discussions with them. But I've been pretty good at staying away from spoilers for the most part, if there's any out there. But I think right now people are still really wondering about Venom. And my stance on it, like I said, is I'm not really excited about a Harry Osborn Venom. I was going to do an episode on the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, but I actually started watching some of those episodes and I really didn't get into it that much. And I didn't want to just make an episode where I was negative the whole time. Not that there's not good things in the show, but the stuff with Venom and Harry and stuff, and, and he became anti-Venom at one point later on in season four, that kind of stuff I didn't really like. And then Norman having it and then Carnage and it being a not even an alien symbiote for the most part. It's something that was created in a lab by Dr. Octopus from Peter Parker's DNA, which is obviously like the Ultimate Spider-Man comic books a little bit. To me, I was just kind of like, eh, it's fine. You know, I feel like we talked about the Ultimate Spider-Man comics and that's close enough. And I might not ever, you know, go into the the depths of the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon because, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I mean, unless you guys want one, you know, if you want me to do a breakdown of Venom in that show, I will if you want one. But, uh, but for me, we can talk about it while we play the, you know, Insomniac Spider-Man 2 video game. But the game is coming out in less than two weeks or around two weeks, I think, from now. And I'm, you know, I'm excited for it. But I'll be honest, I'm more excited for Alan Wake. <laughs> I've been waiting for that game for 13 years, and uh, I'm really, really, really excited. You know, people are like, I waited five years since the last Spider-Man game. And then you had Miles, though, that was in there, too. So maybe a you know, two, three years, really, since the last Spider-Man game. But, um, but for me, 13 years for Alan Wake. So I'm a little bit more excited for Alan Wake than anything. But in the Spider-Man game, I am very excited for Kraven. And I, I'm willing to give Insomniac the opportunity to, um, you know, win me over if Harry Osborn is Venom through a chunk of the game. You know, it, obviously Peter's going to have the suit. We saw that in the first trailer, uh, the first major trailer. And we saw him, you know, interacting or using the suit to fight bad guys off and stuff. So I'm pumped for that, you know, running around as black costume Spider-Man, his, you know, emotions getting out of control and Miles probably having been the one who has to stop him, maybe even using the Venom Blast to stop him. Maybe that's where the name comes from in this universe. Like, 
Who knows? And then Tony Todd doing the voice. Obviously, I'm very excited about that because I put that in the new intro. <laughs> so, uh, so for me, I'm pumped for the game. I'm excited, but I'm more excited for Craven than I am Venom, and that's only because I'm curious. I'm more curious about anything with Venom. If it turns out to be Eddie, that's cool, as long as it's not shoehorned in. Um, you know, if it's Harry and they tell a really good story with it, then I'll I'll get into it. But it's just funny to me that. You know, they did a really good, uh, even though it's reinterpretations of the Shocker and, uh, you know, Taskmaster in the first game and and, uh, and some of the other characters in Doc Ock and, you know, Norman Osborn. They're different takes on the characters, but they still feel very true to who those characters are in the spirit of them. And having a Venom that isn't Eddie doesn't feel true to the spirit of, um, of that character. But then again, you never know, because there was a lot of people saying you can't make a Venom movie without spider-man and that turned out to be a massive success you know and people jumped on board of that train so there's it made new venom fans as well so that could be the case here you never know but i do hope that eddie is in the game that would be great if he's in there somehow and there's teases for other things but again at this point it's all speculation and i don't want to go too far down that path because i've seen the arguments and the stuff people are getting into on twitter and i know that's pretty normal for twitter but that's also why i don't like twitter uh so for me watching it and just being like you know what i'm just wait and see uh, I like I said, they have enough goodwill in Insomniac to let for me to give them a chance to win me over. So for now, I'm not super excited about Harry Venom, you know, but I'm willing to check it out and play the game, and we will do that. I don't know if I'll play it on day one, but I'll be playing them live on Twitch. If you want to come hang out with us on Twitch, I'll put a, you know my link is in the description box down below. I'll probably be playing it that weekend, and I think I have the following week off because that week I took off because it's going to be post Ace's surgery. As of right now, we might have to push his surgery back because he hasn't been doing too well lately um so that might change but i took that week off originally for that reason and now what i'll do is i'll probably just hang out and play video games with you guys that week including um alan wake 2 and spider-man so i might not play it on day one but we will play it on twitch and then i'll take those episodes edit them down and put them up on this channel as venom vlog episodes because hey why not we're short on content right now we're waiting for the actor strike now that the writer strike is uh, wrapped up or wrapping up we're waiting for the actor strike to wrap up so that way we can start getting into production again for the new movie and start talking about the new movie again. But uh, until then, you know, we're going to be covering this game as far as playing it. Uh, I'm not going to touch on a lot of the news. This is probably the only video I make. Maybe one more between now and its release, if that. Um, you know, I just want to kind of stand back and, and watch it from afar as a fan, but then come to you guys and do, you know, discussions about it too especially after it comes out, we're going to be talking a lot about it, playing it together. You know, if you, if you have it at home, I'd love to hear, you know, parts of the game that you love and aren't loving. And we'll get into that and we'll, you know, have a ton of videos uploaded here on this channel from that gameplay. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think down below. Are you excited for Spider-Man 2? You know, are you on board with the Harry thing? Are you hoping Eddie shows up? You know, are you hoping Peter turns out to be Venom? Like, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear them down below and we'll keep talking down there as always. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.